Hey guys, Phoenix here. Fairy friends are off. Last time, time re time reset itself. So we're back at the beginning of the game, sort of, but with memories of everything that's happened and all my items and everything else intact. Welcome. Oh, I thought that was going to be a bit more. So, the items they have access to also changed. Which is interesting. But they're... But she treats me as though this is my first time here. Uh... Still nothing new on alchemy. And I keep forgetting to buy myself new armor. <sighs> okay. In between this episode and the next one, <laughs> I'm getting upgrading my damn armor. Hey! Oh, you must be a new fencer. Yada yada yada. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So it's been a while since I played. Sort of forgets. Buttons. Okay. So I. S hmm, interesting. All the low level kill quests are gone. Uh, I need ultra powered circuits. I think I got that from a boss, so that's not helpful. Okay, so where am I going? Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy the armor now and just edit it out, blah, blah, blah. Back in flesh. Okay, back. So yeah, the armor I got was much, much better. <laughs> like, the armor I had equipped only gave me, like, 10-something defense. And the armor I bought gave me 40. Oh, well, I have a lot of guys now. I don't really need money. I need weapon points, but that's not good, so... Same experience up. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't notice this at all. Each guy has a different size thing. I never noticed that. It's based on their level. Because all the guys that have levels up are higher. Oh, that's... Because when they're higher, that way I can put them not right next to it. Awesome. Oh, that's... I've only ever used the level 1 guy, so I never really noticed. Okay. Well, for now. I'm still just going to get experience. That's really cool. Didn't notice that. The more you know. All right. We've arrived at the Yadagon Lava Flows. Yada yada. You with us so far, Tiara? The three of us traveled to the Yadagon Lava Flows in our timeline. All you gotta do is keep your mouth shut and follow me. You'll see for yourself if I really know what's gonna happen in here. You are brimming with confidence. Of course, because it's a fact. What could I possibly gain by trying to trick a useless woman like you? Once you realize I'm telling the truth, you should apologize and become my slave for making me go through all this trouble. Oh my! What a horrible thing to say! <laughs> and yet... God why damn does it, my Tiara. heart flutter so? No matter how many times we meet her, she's always gonna be like this. Yeah. Anyway, if you insist, I guess I can just stay back and observe. Work hard, you two. She's so unpleasant. Well, she didn't poison us this time, so I can't bitch at her for that. Unfortunately. Was there an event here the first time? Don't think so. <laughs> They're all chumps. I never expected Fane to be so powerful. I must admit, I am truly amazed. 
I skipped over every single fight, so I'm not sure what she's amazed about. I defeated these enemies once before. There's no way they'd pose a challenge now. What do you think? Are you starting to believe us now? True. You seem to know your way around this place. But that hardly proves anything. There are many ways to obtain information. Damn. You I really don't Lola. trust Oops. people. Oh well. Just keep watching. We're almost at the Fury. You'll see for yourself once we get there. I'm going to... Laugh so hard. So hard. When some when something unexpected unexpected happens right here. There's the fury. Right where we said it was. All okay. right, listen up. Let me explain to you what's about to happen. Are you sure you remember, Fang? Don't tease me. I obviously remember. First, I'm gonna pull out the fury. When I do that, the lava's gonna be all roar and start overflowing into this place. Ancient ruins like this often have lots of traps. That's right. And then... What happens again? Okay, so either he doesn't remember what happens, or everything was actually set up by TR in the first place. <laughs> if the second one's true, that'll be really, really fucking funny. Maybe you should get your story straight. This rock over here is actually the control device. Once you activate it, the lava will stop flowing. And after that, the boss will show up. If everything we just said happens, then you'll have to believe us. Right, Tiara? I believe that would be so. It is common for ancient ruins to contain traps, but you two seem far too ignorant to actually study such subjects. Therefore, unless you actually experienced it firsthand, you wouldn't possess such precise information. Oh, boy. Very true. Everything you just said is pissing me off. Yeah. I I'm just gonna let it slide. So Tiara did not All poison right. me this Let's time. Let's yank it out. So I have to be much nicer. Okay. <gasps> the lava is really flowing. I'm going to activate the control device. Ha! <laughs> it stopped. See, we really were telling the truth. Yes. Though I am curious what sort of trick you utilized to make this possible. Ah, uh, jeez. You still don't believe us? I mean, to be fair, time No travel. time to argue. Looks like the boss just showed up. I shall assist you as well. You just shut up and watch. Let's go, Aaron. Yeah! Why? Why'd you do- Why? This is friggin' annoying. Fuck you. What? So many items. I'm even stronger now. Cool. Yeah, more light support on light. Ooh. I did give you fire support. Nothing to it. That was actually fairly Since difficult. Since we knew what was gonna happen, this was so much easier than the last time we were here. Do you get it now, Tiara? You've traveled with us before, but we're the only ones who were sent back to the past to meet you again. Hmm. I also know some other things about you, so you have no choice but to accept it. It seems that is the case. Looks like she finally believes us. Oh. How strange. There is no doubt that I am meeting you two for the first time. And yet you both know so much about me. Like we're soccer I almost. have never even heard of anyone using a fairy's power to travel through time. I guess I'm just that amazing. Remember that lava trap? You were the one who actually found the trap's control device and disarmed it. You also taught me that ancient ruins have lots of traps. It is true that I know these things, and I would have no trouble locating the control device for that sort of lava trap. Yeah? We owe you our thanks, Tiara. We had to rely on you for a lot, you know? Even though your snide comments really pissed me off. We know a lot about yada, you, Tiara. Yada, yada. 
including things we wish we didn't know. Just <laughs> think of us as friends who've traveled together for a long time. You don't need to keep anything from us. Well, actually, there are some things she could stand to hold back. Hmm? Let's just go back to the inn for now. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process. Oh, it's rare to see you acting so considerate, Fang. Idiot. I'm so considerate that I give myself ulcers. Ugh. You don't look stressed that at all. That doesn't make sense. Huh? Huh? I must be imagining things. Ooh, hello, Nyx. And goodbye, Light. Because obviously I'm going to replace you with him. Hey, He's fire. have you calmed down a bit? Yes, a little. Thanks to you. Good. Aaron nags me more than usual when she's not fighting with you. I'd prefer to just sit back and watch you two squawk at each other like a couple of hens. So Aaron and I fight a lot, huh? Yeah, you guys totally didn't get along. Hell, women in general just don't get along with each other. That makes sense. I am often disliked by other women. I can see that. <laughs> Thing, there is something I yeah, would like to sense. ask you. What? How much do you know about me? We've been through this. You want world peace, you act ladylike when you're really nasty, and you're terrifying when you snap. Is that it? What? You want me to give you more compliments? No, I just... How are any of those compliments? Did I ever tell you anything about my blood? Your blood? If you don't know what I'm talking about, that is fine. I was simply curious. Well, like Aaron said, you were always really reliable. You knew a lot of stuff that I didn't know, so... How should I put this? You were very... Responsible, yeah. I guess. If any other woman did the things you did, she would have pissed me off. But for some reason, you never made me that angry. Were we lovers? Yeah. What? Who dates someone like you? Oh my, so we weren't? I am relieved. Don't ask me questions like that out of the blue. It seems your love for me was unrequited. Aw, oh, hell no. What sort of things did I tell you and Aaron? You said we traveled together, so why did you two return to the past and leave me behind? That's... Uh... Was I not with you? Well, no, but... So if I was there, why didn't I come with you? What happened in the future? <laughs> did About something that. bad happen? Don't ask me, how should I know? Plus, I shouldn't tell people from the past about the future. It's sort of a rule. But you've broken what kind of rule is that? constantly I, since you've I come don't know. to the past. It just seems like the right thing to do. If I casually tell you about the future, the world could end up in chaos. You don't strike me as the kind of person who cares about doing the right thing. Shut Fair up. Enough. Anyway, but there's so. nothing for me to tell you about. So something did happen, but you can't talk about it. I can't tell you. It wouldn't be right of me, no matter how stupid the future gets. Hmm... <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. Even if you don't tell me, I already know my future. Cool, oh, yeah? What's your future? Why, it's obvious. I will successfully revive a goddess, bring about world peace, marry a rich noble, and have lots of children. I'm not from that far in the future. But what I can tell you is that you're gonna be happy. I can guarantee that much. Aha! Uh -huh. So I will have a happy future. I knew it. Yeah, 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 good yeah. for you. I need to get some sleep now. You tricked I'll definitely me, definitely protect you this time. I promise. Huh? huh? What was it? Did you say something? Go to sleep. I don't want to deal with your grouchy attitude just because you didn't want to go to bed. You don't need to worry about that. I've never been grouchy in my life. Good night, Fang. Good night. Aaron, how do you think Tiara's handling all this? She seemed really confused when we were at the Yadagon Lava Flows. Well, that makes sense. I mean, anyone would be confused by the story we told her. I still can't believe we got sent back to the past. Yeah, yeah. but as soon as we ran into Tiara again, everything that happened afterward was exactly the same as in our time. Well, Tiara asked me about what happened in the future. She wanted to know why she wasn't sent back to the past like we were. What did you tell her? There's no way I could tell her that she died, so I just brushed it off. I don't know how long that's gonna work, though. That's really all you can do. Tiara died because I couldn't protect her. I won't let that happen again. No one wants to find out they're going to die. That's why we don't need to tell her about the future. You must care about Tiara a lot, huh? This isn't just about her, though. I met Apollonius' little sister in our time. Her name was Emily. Aww. Emily? I yeah. 
She was journeying to avenge her brother's death. Someone that young should care more about having fun than vengeance. She put her life on hold just so she could get revenge. On you. And I couldn't even tell her that I was the one who killed her brother. I didn't want Emily to hate me. I was... scared. It's not your fault. You had no choice. And you did his sister a kindness by not telling her that you killed her brother. You're wrong. Even my enemies have families and friends they care about. But I chose to ignore that. I was too weak and scared to accept that they were people too, just like She's me. Fang. Fang. I've only ever seen my opponents as faceless Damn. enemies. And nothing else. <laughs> I can't but make any jokes. I'm not like, going uh, to do that anymore. Fang, but you're sometimes being you can't advance unless you defeat your enemies. What are you going to do about that? It's simple. I just gotta convince them to join my side. Are you serious? It'll sure. be easy with my charming charisma. Galdo's a perfect example. He practically fell in love with me after I beat him. First, I'll just show my enemies how strong I am. Then, I'll offer my hand to them instead of killing them outright. Maybe I'll say a cool one-liner like, Use that life I've spared to fight by my side. No, If I stand there and don't. look cool, I'm sure please. they'll wag their tails and Never say join that again. Me. No, Galdo was just a special case, so... It's the perfect solution! Please. We'll have a greater chance of saving Tiara, and we'll have more people to help revive the goddess. So what do you think? Am I a genius or what? No. Huh? <laughs> you idiot! You're such an optimist! <laughs> oh, never mind. You really are a genius! Which is it? Am I an idiot or a genius? Make yes. up your damn mind. It's a fine line. <laughs> Aren't they fine basically line. the same thing? Yeah. You're much. way too amused about this. Sorry, sorry. All joking aside, you really are amazing. I've honestly never thought about it like that before. It's incredibly reckless, but I think if anyone can pull it off, you can. Cool. So, you finally accepted how amazing I am, huh? Have you fallen in love with me? Yes, actually. What the? Why did you say yes? That's not like you at all! If my answer was gonna freak you out, you shouldn't have asked in the first place. I'm not freaking out! You've grown a lot, Fang. You're completely different compared to when I first met you. Yeah, I know that. Fang's I knew like, you wanted to protect Tiara, but uh -huh. I didn't expect you to change who you are, too. If you're that kind of fencer, I'll always be with you. Aww. I'll be right by your side while we fight together. I this promise. episode got really heavy. Really fast. I don't care what happens to me. Just oh, spare my again. grandchild's life, please. Grandpa! Shut up! If you keep blabbing, I'll kill you with one blow. Whoa, what the heck? Who the hell are you? Oh, what look, would you like to know Sherman about me? again? My name, my way of life, or perhaps my prowess with a sword. Is this what he said last time? Like the music Thank you very seem much accurate. for saving us. I don't know how I could possibly repay you. Thank you, mister. No need to thank me. Are you injured? No, thanks to you. I see. I'm glad. And then he kills them. Because... Yeah! Uh! Why? I'll be taking this fury. Grandpa! No! The world is like this desert. Barren and withered. The Told people have like starved for so long. They've lost their sense of justice. I shall change this world. Starting with this. So Sherman remembers. Do we meet the Gurundis? What the heck? Oh, what? sorry. We went to the Catechus Ice Caves after the Yadagon lava flows, right? Do you remember how cold that place was? Since we're going there today, maybe it's best if we wear wool undies or something. What in the world are you talking about? Last time we went to the Catechus Ice Caves without thick clothes, it was so cold that we nearly died. So I think this time around, we should wear heavy undies to protect ourselves. Are you serious? I don't know about you two, but there's no way I am going to do that. But it was so cold. Yeah, it was cold. You even had snot running from your nose. Snot? 
There is no way that is true. It's, it's true. true. I totally saw it, snot nosed Tiara. I won't forgive you for this. What about you, Fing? Did you see snot running from my nose? I don't remember. <laughs> That's not fair, Fang. I know you don't want to get involved, but that doesn't mean you should pretend it didn't happen. So just as I thought, Fang Aaron was, more was mistaken. Focused on not dying. Please don't rub your shameful behavior on me. Don't rub any of your snot on me either. Let's just buy the underwear already. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's an event here. Um. Okay, I'm going to Gali Revival, the new guy I got. And that'll be it for this episode. So let's find that. Okay, I'll grab Confusion Null. Uh, let's see this. Oh man, he is. Mix has actually really low stats in comparison. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay. Well, I'll grab Confusion all on Mix. Because Confusion is annoying. Skip this fight. Oh yeah. Left by side. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hmm. Might as well do these real quick. As usual, TR enjoys making unnecessary remarks, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's kind of like how my handsomeness in there won't change. Nope. I'm surprised Narek's expected you to be so strong. You received formal training? No. I'm I'm just naturally gifted. Okay. Uh, saves a game. So that's it for this episode. If you like the episode, you know, do the thing that does the thing. Lets me know about the thing. Until next time. Bye bye.